Let's practice our saving options. We have this file which happens to be macro enabled. Look at the extension. We have .xlsm. So this here is macro enabled. Let's go to file, save as. I'm just going to choose my desktop for now. And when I choose the drop down box, save as type. Notice how we have two different templates here. We have the regular Excel template, XLTX, as well as our macro enabled template, which is .xltm. We want the full power, so we're gonna save as this macro enable template. And when we choose this type, notice how the folder changes to my documents custom office templates. We'll call this template Moss Macro and we'll save it. So now that it's saved, let's see how we can access this file. So let me just close everything. File, close, so as if nothing's open. Let's go to File, New, and if you go to Personal, you can see your own personal templates. And the template we just created is Moss Macro. So I click on that, and ta-da! You can see there's a security warning here, macros have been disabled. I created this file, so I'm just going to click on Enable Content. So now we have the full power of scripting within our Excel file. Now sometimes you want to share your Excel file with someone with a very old version of Excel, such as 2003. In this case, the regular Excel file won't cut it. So let's try saving as an older version. File, Save As, and let's just save to the computer desktop. Gonna hit the drop down box. The regular file right now by default is XLSX Excel Workbook. However, I'm gonna save as an Excel 97 2003 workbook. That's the old school XLS extension. So I'm gonna save this to desktop. I'll just call this uh, old.xls. Click on save. And we just get a little warning message about how some things are not compatible. So just click on continue. The fact is that we now have an old school file format, XLS. And if you are in no need of the newer features with XLSX, consider saving it as XLS if you collaborate with lots of people with older versions. For example, you can even go to File, Options, and you can even change the Save options to save as instead of S XLSX you can change it to some older version such as XLS. Let's finish off this video by creating a nice template file. So let me go to file, save as, I'll just choose my desktop for now. I'm gonna call this template, I'll call it my template going to save it as a standard template file, which is the XLTX Excel template file. So you can see the folder changes to My Documents Custom Office Templates. Kind of click on Save. And because we didn't choose the macro option template, this has to be macro free. I'm going to click on Yes. So to find that, I'm going to go File, Close. And go File New. If I go to Personal, I can see the nice option here, which says My Template over here. Double click it, and there's my nice template file. So recall that we had this My Documents folder called Custom Office Templates. Let's double click into here. And if you want to clear out some of these templates, I'll delete everything except for My Template.xltx on delete yes and now within Excel let's go to file new and go to personal notice how all the options are now cleaned up such that we only have one template congrats you now finished the objectives for the chapter one let's move on to chapter two